Hello people on YouTube, this is Caffeine Jedi. I'm making a little walk through the forest. I thought I'd go mushroom hunting. Might be a little early in the season. And Queen Elizabeth has passed away. I imagine those two things that I just said are completely unrelated, but who knows about the universe, right? Anyway, I'm gonna talk a little bit about my feelings. And uh, for those who don't know from my accent, I am actually both American and British. I did uh, get my British citizenship a few years ago. And I did have to, like, you know, pledge the queen, all that fun stuff. Um, that being said, I have a lot of uh, nuanced and complicated and gray feelings about the situation, which means no one will like this video because if you say things, you know, without saying, I hate it, I love it, I hate it, I love it, it's like people go all fucking crazy because you talk with nuance. Dislike, 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 dislike. All right, so my feelings are she's passed away. Sad because know anytime anyone passes away if they're not like pure evil you're like okay you know they obviously were someone's family she had grandkids she had kids so people will be sad you know I was sad when my grandmother died I was sad when my grandfather died I still have a couple grandparents still alive so but they're you know they're in their 90s so inevitably this would have happened to Queen Elizabeth you know thus disproving that she was not an immortal lizard person which is something I sometimes heard Anyways, so let's start with feelings number one. I don't believe any monarchy should exist anymore. Like, the purpose is archaic and uh, anti-meritocracy. Uh, and, you know, it means nothing. It's just like, here, random people born to this bloodline should rule the land. But, come on, aren't we a little over that? But I, I do hear the argument then, oh, but the British monarchy... You know, probably the most iconic of the monarchies, um, with some vague constitutional power, I guess you could say, technically. Um, sorry, I'm also looking for mushrooms, so my face is doing this. I, like I said, I think I'm a little too early in the season. It's been raining, so I was hoping something would pop up, but I don't see anything. So, um, number one, I don't really think they should exist in the sense that, like, they really don't do anything besides act rich and proper and put on little airs, you know, I guess traditional airs. Some say, well, you know, but they add to tourism, but there's been many videos, and you can look them up on YouTube, that debunk that. They don't actually add more money than they take. Uh, so, it's like, here, pay these people for their existence. I think Americans are more like, you know, interested in um, in the monarchy and this almost like fairy tale aspect of it more than uh, British people, I think. Well, no, no, maybe I'm lying. I just think that they have a different perspective on it. Anyway, so that's my, that's my feelings on the monarchy in general. Now, like, how do I feel about the queen herself? I mean, she was all about that stiff upper lip and she was all about the tradition and keeping on the ears and you know she tried her damnedest to hold together this image of the monarchy because she saw it as very important to her even though like i ain't saying jacket shit out here even though reality eventually snuck into her life quite early on you know that not everyone was going to have those same feelings about it uh, with her uncle who was originally supposed to be king and he you know decided to leave the throne to his brother who was her father and uh, you know and he also was like a nazi sympathizer and that was like a whole thing <laughs> yeah and that must suck to find out that your uncle was like like basically goading on the nazis to like yeah maybe you should bomb the uk a little bit more and they were planning on like putting him back in power Oof. anyway so then she finally, like, you know, uh, tries her best. It seems like she was really trying to, to, to keep up the, I don't want to say facade, but it's definitely, like, how can it be? You have to still be human. But the idea that you have to be, like, above, uh, like, 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 you must keep your image at all costs. And, you know, her life got really complicated because her family wasn't, going to do that as easily as uh 
she had hoped, whether it started with her sister, who was not about playing those type of games and was much more, um, you know, let's just say she was a little, was a little more brash than, you know, Queen Elizabeth. And then later on, uh, she, she had issues, I guess you could say, with, uh, Charles and Diana and their whole marriage that was a freaking giant insanity. And, you know, controversial opinion, I don't think she much cared for Diana because Diana refused to play that game or that role that she has put her whole life into playing. Like, by she, I mean the queen. And, um... That's why it was... Oh, finally, I found something, but I don't know if that's anything of value. Uh, finally, the queen... Huh. I don't know what these are, but I'm going to show them to you. Beep. I think I might have to go deeper into this forest. But I don't want to go without Bosti because I'll totally get lost and eaten by a wolf. Uh, <laughs> there aren't probably any wolves out here. There's definitely boar. Um, so she... You know, unfortunately, she fought uh, with, I think, a more uh, modern approach to the fact that people can't be these roles. But I think to her it was so, like, I wouldn't say it was easy, but I mean, she, she worked so hard to keep into her stiff upper lip, I am the monarch role, that it was a, a struggle, I'm sure, for her to see that not everybody was doing what she was doing, essentially. I hope I'm going the right way. Oh, God, I really do hope I'm going the right way. Uh, I think so. I think I came from that direction. And I think there's going to be a little path that goes this way. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's like uh, rambly and in the woods. <laughs> like, well, it is. Anyway. Boop. Mm. Oh, ooh, I, I found some. Mm. <laughs> I think I'll have to come back for them, though. <laughs> I don't know what these are. <laughs> I don't know what these are. I, I I told my husband I'd be back already. <laughs> but I have to go take a look. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, it's you coming with me on this. And there's like these stupid little sickles everywhere. What are these? What is this? I'm going to show you. They look so weird. I don't know. I haven't a clue. Um, but... They're not worthy of bagging, so I'm gonna leave them there. <sighs> Sorry, Busty forgot the money which is in my bag. And I think the mushrooms are just like not ready yet. So now we move on to like the the, the modern version of the family with Charles and, and I think a lot of people hold a lot of animosity on Charles that you know his mother didn't have or didn't make. Aha, found the little path. Which is that like, you know, people saw him as the cause to Diana's suffering. And he's definitely been depicted in that way, like significantly. Um, and so his popularity and the popularity of his wife, Camilla, uh, and their roles as like future monarchs, I think they're going to have to work significantly harder to really get the people on their side. Now, the queen did lose popularity at some point during the death of Diana, and she turned it around when she finally showed or acknowledged her human side uh, by, like, saying... She went on TV, she did this very famous speech about, you know, her feelings about Diana's death and how it was affecting her family. And, uh, that gave her a big boost in popularity again. So, that was a time when people were thinking, okay, the monarchy is not going to come back from this. Uh, now, you got Charles, and he's fighting with his kids, and Harry, and, 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 uh, William. Who, keep in mind, Will, William and Kate are more popular than, uh, Prince, uh, Philip and Camilla. But there's a whole, like, you know, stankiness brewing, and everybody's in a fight with each other. So, like, and apparently Charles is, like, uh, not the biggest fan of, um, Miss Markle. Uh, 
So let's just say, <clears throat> sorry, I'm also like making sure that I don't fall. Ugh, dog poop. Um, and uh, I just don't know how he's going to turn it around. Like, I mean, maybe people just will feel bad for him because, you know, he just lost his mom and that sucks. Uh, you got to change everything. got to change all the money. You got to change, like, you know, everything. This is God Save the Queen to, you know, and from Her Majesty has to be His Majesty. Like, you got to do all this, uh, a lot of bureaucracy, I imagine. Anything there? No. Sorry. I'm still, like, wandering around. That's weird looking. I don't think that's a mushroom. Oh, no, it is kind of mushroom looking. I don't know. Maybe it's just a flower. I'm not good at this. I need an old German person to take me through these woods. Um, but as I was saying, I, I'm really, uh, you know, I'll see if he'll pull it out of, pull a rabbit out of his hat and manage it. Um, cause like I said, he's, uh, it's, it was hard for the queen herself to keep the monarchy together. And, and bring it into what would be the modern day. And, you know, she had, for a lot of shit, I'll say she had a lot of fortitude. All right, this lady handled a lot of stuff. Um, but, you know, in terms of, of queen, of uh, all these smaller colonies, I guess we could call them, with the com Commonwealth, um, I don't know how well the Commonwealth is going to stand because They've been gradually getting rid of their ties to the monarchy. Like, many different countries have already kind of done that. And I don't see that stopping anytime soon. And I certainly see that even being sped up with Charles. Um, but... But... Interesting smells around here. It smells kind of, uh, minty. Um... You know, I don't read the future. I'm not a, a monarchist uh, uh, historian by any means. Uh, but, personal opinion, uh, I think that Charles needs to get the fuck over himself and make peace with uh, Harry and these people. And I think that that would uh, bring a bit more of an air of stability to the idea of monarchy. Um, if that's what, you know, if that's what they wanted to do. Now, we'll see what happens. I didn't see that many mushrooms out here. Maybe I don't know how to search for them because I'm a total noob at this. <sighs> Anyways, there's always been this, like, rumor that they were going to skip him altogether. Like, er, you know, he's kind of old already and he is kind of old already. Like, maybe he can't really handle the pressure. Even though... Old Queen Elizabeth, she was fucking handling that shit probably till the day she died. But they already said, like, oh, he's in, like, his 70s. And, you know, he's, he, he's not really that popular. Maybe we just go with Will and Kate. Let's go with Will and Kate. They seem like, you know, a better, younger, more interesting fit. And they could revive the monarchy and people like them. Um, I doubt that's going to happen, though. <laughs> I don't think that... Uh, Poor Prince Philip has been waiting his whole life. You know, that's when your whole life is waiting to become the the king. And, and now is his moment, and I really, really doubt he's going to like be like, oh, now I'm fine. I don't even want it anymore. <laughs> I kind of feel like that's a hell of a that's a hell of a lot of pressure, right? Mm. Anyways, that, that's basically my feelings. It's uh, nothing too complicated. Uh, you know, I certainly hope that the family uh, mourns and I understand the pressures of, uh, of when your matriarch dies. Um, my grandmother was our matriarch, and I know that's from a much smaller perspective, but, uh, you know, family's family, and you can tell, like, their complications as publicly as they are. You know, we all have kind of those insanities. Anyways, that's it, people on YouTube. I did not get a single mushroom out. Damn. All right, maybe I have to come back later. Bye.